This Albania travel vlog is our Škodra travel guide. We'll share the top things to do in Škodra, Albania and show you why this charming city should be on your travel bucket list. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're bucket list travellers. And we come to you from Škodra, Albania. Škodra is located in northern Albania, only a 20 minute drive to the border with Montenegro and a two hour bus ride to Tirana, the capital of Albania. The city is known as the capital of northern Albania and has played a key role in Albania's long history. One thing that makes Škodra quite unique is that it is a model for religious harmony and tolerance. So right now I'm in an orthodox church courtyard and then just right behind me you've got the main mosque of the town and then just another block away you've got a Catholic church as well. So each of these religions have sat side by side with each other for centuries. Arguably the most famous Albanian is Mother Teresa. So most of you would have heard of Mother Teresa before. If you haven't, she was a Catholic nun who did a lot of work in India advocating for the poor. She is revered across the country and across the world and you can find images of her in the form of statues in prominent places in Albania as well as in the Catholic churches. One of the first things that struck us about Škodra was the strong cafe and restaurant scene. There's a wide range of a traditional Albanian food and restaurants to try. Italian restaurants are also very popular here. One thing that surprised us was how good the desserts are. We enjoyed the food experience so much that we dedicated a whole video to the squadra of food scene. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button to ensure you don't miss it. You'll find plenty of dining options on the pedestrian street Colle Idromeno. However, another area popular with locals and worth checking out is the Molos Promenade. For a really nice thing to do at sunset, do what the locals do and come to the Buna River walkway just near the Rizafa Castle. It's a really nice walkway and there are heaps of really nice restaurants to have dinner overlooking sunset. Škodra is also known for its culture and art scene. You can even visit a Venetian mask factory. Venice Art World is on the outskirts of Škodra. It's a Venetian mask making factory and showroom. So it's three euros each for entry and the manager and owner will show you around and explain the history and the process of making Venetian masks in this area. So Škodra seems to have quite a strong tie to Italy. But it's interesting to see the process and to see these beautiful masks. Rizafa Castle is the must-do attraction in Škodra. It's a really well-preserved castle and the walls of the castle or elements of the walls of the castle have dated all the way back to 4th century BCE. That's a very long time. It's quite a wide expanse. You could spend around an hour just looking through all the nooks and crannies of the castle and admiring the view of the city of Škodra below. There are some turtles that live on this site. I was in here before and a turtle just plopped down um, over, over the doorway and started looking around looking for food. So I'm trying to look for it now but I don't know if it's already gone away. If you're like me and you suffer from hay fever, you might want to bring antihistamine tablets with you when you come here, especially in spring, because there's a lot of grass here and today they're actually cutting some of the grass and it's just the, the pollen's going everywhere. I'm in the museum of the castle and it's split over two levels. So the first level here is just documenting the history of Skodra and it is a very varied history with people here in Neolithic times, there have been the Romans, there have been the Ottoman Empire, 
It's got such a very rich history and it's really fascinating to find out. It's amazing to discover how far the reach of Venice was in centuries past. So in the 14th century, uh, Skodra was in the control of Venice. So this is the second floor of the museum and it chronicles the time from the Ottoman occupation in the 14, late 1400s all the way through to uh, the independence of Albania just before World War I. So this flag right here is the same flag that was raised way back in 1914 on this spot. And this represented the independence of the state of Albania back in 1914. So this is quite a small museum, but if you are interested in the history of Skodra, then it's certainly worth a look in. The entry of the museum is additional to your ticket to the castle, and that was 200 leg. In getting up to the castle, there's one long ramp made of stones. Now it's pretty easy to walk up. Uh, however, on your way down, the stones are quite slippery, so it's quite a slow measured walk. Just be careful. Behind me is Skodra Lake, and half of that lake is Albania, and half of that lake is Montenegro. While in Skodra, make sure you visit the Skodra Lake. There are plenty of activities to do around the lake, including going for a swim. The best vantage point to view the lake is from the nearby town of Shiroke, around a 15 minute drive out of Skodra. You can even walk there like we did, and it takes around one and a half hours. We've made it to the town of Shiroke. Now it's around an eight kilometer or so walk, five mile walk from Skodra. And this is where you can get the best view of a Skodra Lake. And we're hoping to have a swim here too. The lakeside town of Shiroke is really pretty. So you've got views right over the lake, there's lots of restaurants and cafes right along the water, and it's just a really peaceful atmosphere here. We're at Restaurant Tizuda in Shiroke, and this is a really nice restaurant. It's got um, the main restaurants across the road, but it's also got some dining areas right on the waterfront here. And they sell a lot of local fish straight from the lake, as well as other menu items. Well, lunch is served, and this looks amazing. So we've got carp, which is uh, local from the lake. And then we've got a traditional cornbread, which seems to have some local cheese on top as well. And then we've got the village salad. So it's got olives, tomato, onion, and cucumber. So this looks like a hearty meal. All up, it was 1,100 lakh. So I'm gonna try the cornbread first. And I really like how it's presented here with the cheese on top. Mmm. Yeah, so this is, quite dense and it kind of reminds me of a yam it's yeah it's really dense and then it's got the um, crispy fried outside yeah it's really good and the cheese gives it a nice little extra bit of flavor so yeah I quite enjoy this the carp is really nice it's a whole fish it's just been cut up and then deep fried and it's a white fish the batter is quite nice and light. It's really delicious and to be able to look out over the lake where it's caught, that's quite an experience. So obviously being a whole fish, it hasn't been deboned or anything like that. So you do have to just keep in mind that you've got to work your way around the bones. But other than that, it's really delicious. The one thing I love about Albania and countries around the Balkans is that you get not only salt and pepper but you get olive oil and vinegar at your table as well so that means you can dress your salad to your liking um, you can use it for dipping bread as well and they always give you toothpicks for the end of your meal which is quite handy we've made our way to the beach at Shiroke now it's about a 10 minute walk outside of the main town and it's really hot right now. I'm really looking forward to getting into that lake. It looks really nice. Now I have heard, I have read that there are water snakes. They're apparently harmless, but I hate snakes. So fingers crossed, I don't meet any. Thankfully, no water snakes today. Well, that we knew of anyway. So how's that? 
That's oh, lovely in the water. The temperature is really nice and it's cool seeing all the native birds just swimming around and fishing right near you. Yeah, I really like seeing all the snow-capped mountains in the background as well. It's just a lovely spot. One other site worth visiting just outside Shkodra is the Messi or Ottoman Bridge. The Ottoman Bridge is a beautiful bridge just outside Shkodra and it was built in the 1700s. It's a picturesque bridge with a stunning backdrop and it's one of the must visit destinations in the area. We hope you enjoyed our Albania vlog about Shkodra things to do. If you did, please give it a like and leave us a comment. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.